So we have Temperance reversed. We have Strength. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Six of Swords. Two, ten of Swords. And then Queen of Staffs. Okay, usually it's only six cards. And you guys just got like a, a ton. And that's fine. Just that's how it goes. And I was telling some of my other signs that, you know... The cards speak, and sometimes you only need six. Sometimes you need ten. And so I'm trying to, um, instead of making it so formulaic, listening to what you actually need. So if you need eight cards, then you get eight cards. If you only need six, you only get six. Because it's just what you need at that time as a sign, as a group of people. And I always make sure to focus on just the people who are going to watch it. Like, to give me the energy for you guys, you know? Okay, so with that, singles, love, March. You do have a new relationship coming in. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So that's really fun. And you might actually meet them through some friends or going out with friends and being, you know, catching their eye. So that's that's really lovely that um, you will be meeting someone. And you know what? This relationship is actually going to be really nice, possibly with uh, another fire sign, another Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's going to end, or I really feel like it's actually going to be mostly with Leos for a lot of you. Uh, and it's just going to make you feel um, powerful. It's going to make you feel dominant, dominant in the relationship, actually. Like they're going to make you feel like a million bucks, like you were a king or a queen. This is good. Next month, you guys are going to have to watch the <laughs> the couple um, reading. Uh, so the thing is, with this, is I also have a King of Pentacles popping up in the reverse. And I do feel like it's actually somebody from your past coming in, kind of to wreak havoc in a way. Like that you have this queen who's um, showing up who you want to be with, but this King of Pentacles is kind of standing in the way of that and trying to block block the relationship. And they will succeed if you don't stay on top of yourself. Because they're going to try to kind of manipulate the situation and be like, you owe me. That's what they, they're going to say to you. You owe me. I made you. I gave you this. I did this for you. You owe me. And you don't owe them anything. Okay? Even if they, they, they somehow make you feel guilty, you don't owe them anything. And the best thing you can do is just walk away from the situation. Like, this is, this is a dead relationship popping up. This is a really, really dead relationship. And so now it's time to walk away from them. Even if they're, they're truly, <laughs> this is going to sound horrible, even if they are, truly are in need, you are not the one to save them and to help them. Lead them to help that is not you. All right? Make sure that they are safe. Make sure that they are healthy and, and healthy enough to take care of themselves. But do not fix them. Lead them to a third party that is not in the situation and, is, and it is not you. Because this, yeah, there's definitely somebody coming in and I want you to spend your time loving up on them. Because it's going to be sexy. It's going to be fiery. It's going to be good. And I don't want you to miss a moment of that. Because of this, this person coming in trying to sabotage it. And it will, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Temperance reverse. It's going to be hard to see, um, see what's truly going on. Because you care, Aries. You do. You care. But care more about this relationship than somebody trying to sabotage you. And I, I don't worry necessarily, Aries, about you making excuses for this King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, saying, well, they had a rough childhood. Well, you know, they were an addict. Well, you know, they just have anger problems. I don't worry about that with you because I, I feel like you can cut through all of that BS and just be like, you need help. I'm not the one to help you. Go here. Then go like this. Yeah. Just wash your hands of the situation because it is not yours to fix. All right, so let's uh, pull universal love cards. Reflection. Gosh, that keeps coming up. 
What's this one? Dreams. Ah, <sighs> so this queen of staffs that is popping up. It can be a man or a woman, remember that. Oh, is your dream, is a dream of yours. You know, listen, reflect on the situation of the past. Take a moment to, you know, uh, see what lessons you have learned from this person who's trying to sabotage you. And then let go and follow your dream, you know. Like they, when you meet this person, this queen of staffs, this man or woman that just lights you on fire, you're going to be like, I have met you before. I know you from somewhere. And I have a feeling that a lot of Aries have actually dreamt about this person. You know, and I love that it's, um, it's like, it was like the last card because it's like they're on their own. Like this is a new beginning. This is, um, this is something really special. So don't let it go, okay? It's really important to know this person, this queen of staffs. And they could come in uh, the last part of March. Even, I actually even think even the beginning of April. But they're important. It's a good stuff. Good stuff, Aries. Okay, so it is time for me to move on to the couples. All right, Aries couples, let's look at what's going on in March. Let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. What do Aries couples need to know for March? So at least one of you needs to be an Aries, sun, rising, or moon. Okay. Great. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Four of Staffs. Judgment. And the Four of Staffs is reversed as well. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. And the Nine of Staffs. All right. There's going to be a lot of resolution happening this month within your relationship. One of you is going to be acting more like an earth sign. So, and you might actually be dating an earth sign, but it's the energy of Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, and kind of grounding the relationship and saying, okay, let's take a look at what's going on. Let's, um, you know, just fine tune things because you're going down a road right now with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse that isn't as satisfying as you would like in the relationship. In fact, I feel like one of you probably wants to get married, one of you guys wants to move in, and the other one doesn't. And so it's it's just a, a disconnect um, that's happening. But with the Ace of Swords popping up in this situation, you guys are going to finally find different ways of communicating what you need to say. All right, the Ace of Swords is, um, you, you know, maybe you guys <laughs> uh, start texting more or, um, you know, write emails to each other, write love letters or, or some something of the sorts and that. And it's not how you usually would talk to one another, but you get it. You get it with each other and you actually can solve, solve the situation, solve the issues with one another by this communication. And you're able to say what it is that you need to say that you couldn't before. Yeah, and some of you guys might have been engaged. And now you guys are just going to take it back a little bit and like say, you know what, let's do a really long engagement. You know, let's wait and see. Not saying you want to split up or you don't want to get married, but that you just, you know, you want more time together instead of celebrating with others. Like the Nine of Staffs showing up is, is 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 kind of a tiresome energy, but it's asking like, do you want to put in the work? But even you know, even this card is going to come to a solution because we have this beautiful Judgment card right, you know, right there in the corner, upright, saying, "Aha, you figure it out." 
you figure it out and you transcend and you, you gain more knowledge, thus becoming a different person within the relationship. So that as a couple, you guys are transcending. This is this is nice. Ace of Swords right there, especially during Mercury retrograde. This makes sense. You know, you guys haven't been communicating. All of a sudden, communication will really stilt, but you'll figure it out. You'll figure out a new way. And if you don't, if you feel like you guys are stuck and you, you can't see eye to eye, do what I just said and communicate in a different way. Communicate if you usually call each other on the phone. Email each other. If you sit and stare at each other over dinner but don't say a word, write each other a letter. You know, go salsa dancing together. Do something that is communicative, even if it's not verbally. And it'll kind of break the cycle. It'll break what's going on so that you can build, build it even stronger. So let's pull on the Universal Love cards just to see what added guidance we have here. Spiritual growth, yep. Yeah. And relationship. See, it's just fine. You guys are growing. Like, I, I honestly don't have a whole lot to say because uh, you guys are going to pull some new tools out. You know, you're going to be creative about it. Um, and, and in order to be creative about that, think outside of your box, you know, and also listen to one another. Somebody says, you know, I've always loved dancing, but they don't say they want to go dancing. Go take a cue and, <laughs> and sign up for a dance class together or be like, oh, if somebody's always saying, you know what, that hike looks really cool. I, you know, and they're not saying that they want to go on that hike. Freaking go on a hike. You know, they're not saying it as a hint. They're probably just talking to you and just, you know, speaking. But take that hint and do something. It's going to grow you guys and it's going to create a really solid relationship. Yum. Yay. I don't know if um, any of you guys ever listened to Chris D'Elia. I was listening to his podcast and it was, it's funny. It's a little crass. It's actually really crass, but it's really funny. And uh, there's an episode that they say yum all the time. And it's dark and sinister, but it's also funny. And, and we do need to laugh. We do need to laugh in all different aspects. So um, your relationship is going to be tasty <laughs> by the end. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's not a whole lot more for me to say, Aries. Like, listen. Um, do things. Okay, instead of just thinking and, you know, connecting by looking in each other's eyes, which is also a great way of communication, do something. Queen of Pentacles does. Queen of Pentacles creates. To create something you can see, you can feel, you can touch, you can smell. So it's time for you to create something real. And you're going to. So that's wonderful. <laughs> 